What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Panda here, and I think it's time to do our second iteration of the Fusion Checkup. Let's dive right in. And welcome back to the video, guys. Like I said, we're going to be talking about the Fusion and where we are currently in the Fusion event. Um, by the time you see this video, there will be a few more events that have come out, uh, but this is going to be a little bit back because if you don't already know, I do work uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, so I'm actually recording all of my videos earlier in the week, which is why you don't see a lot of summoning videos from me because all the summoning manners unfortunately happen while I am working. Uh, but we're going to be talking quickly about where we are so far on the event and kind of see where we are, see how our progress is going on the Crow Door Fusion. So let's go ahead and go down. So first things first, guys, is we do have our first copy of Draga. We actually had this in the last Fusion Checkup event, so this is not super surprising. But we have one-fourth of the Fusion actually completed and ready to go, which is exciting. Uh, and if we scroll down a little bit further, you will see that maybe... One of these days, here we go. Uh, we have two Gogrons uh, from the event right here. Um, I thought we had a third, but maybe I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting. I thought we had a third one. Do we have one built up already that I forgot about? No, no. All right, so we have two of the uh, the Gogrons right here that are ready to go. We haven't uh, leveled up, fused, promoted, whatever, um, because we're waiting for the Corridor of Glory event to come, right? So we have a Corridor of Glory event coming on Friday. We will do all of the actual leveling up, promoting, uh, etc. during this event right here. Um, but yeah, so let's take a look. So, he, oh, this is what it is. I just forgot to collect it. There's our third one. I was like, I knew we had a third one. We just hadn't collected it. So we have three Gogrons ready to go and we will get our fourth one in about an hour and a half from the Tales of the Smith event, uh, because we have the, the goal to do it. We're just going to pew pew it through. Shouldn't be an issue at all, but you'll see that we got the copy here from the mystery of artifacts event. We're actually doing this actively right now. Um, we got the other copy from um, the duel of the champions right here uh, which we will complete this but we got the second copy here and then we got the third copy from the brave conquest event and our fourth copy will come from tales of the smith um, which again will be completed in about an hour and a half for sure not even a problem we'll just power through it and be done uh, but basically what that means is that we are two fourths one half however you will uh of the way through to the crodor event um and it's been very very easy i mean it i've barely had to do anything extra i mean i haven't had to really do anything extra other than specifically leveling those champions during the leveling events right that's the only sort of extra thing i've done I will say that I did use a good chunk of energy in the Insignia of Endurance uh, because I wanted to stock up on the purple and the gold mats for Dragas, as well as in the Insignia of Melee Attack for the same reason. I wanted to stock up on these specifically so that we could easily, without any problems, promote our Gogrons and our Dragas up uh, in order to get the fusion for uh, Crodor without any concern. Um, that was something that I wanted to make sure I was done and ready ahead of time so when we didn't have any events I used my energy towards the promotion raid uh, specifically for example when we had the um, artifact material raid events but we didn't have the um why am I blanking out on what it's called right now? The, there we go. The Brave Conquest. Um, I didn't want to waste my energy doing AMR. So I was like, let me go do the insignias. Let me get those out of the way so that once we're ready to actually level up, star up, and promote, we have all the materials necessary without having to go and farm. Uh, so that was something that I did that was really, really helpful. Um, I want to give a huge shout out. I don't remember if I still have it. Do I still have it in here? I don't think I do, uh, but Fastidious um, has a video that he came out with that was a fusion tracker, uh, and it was a, a Google document that he came up with that was really, really helpful. Um, I actually was using that uh, to kind of figure out where my numbers needed to be. I haven't kept it up because once I knew my numbers, I didn't need it anymore. Um, I thought that I had it up still, but I apparently closed it out because I didn't need it anymore. Um, but yeah, that's a really good resource. I do highly recommend using that. I do believe that he has a plan to actually have that implement on the website as well, uh, which will be really, really nice because we'll be able to go in there and just be like, oh, hey, this is what I have so far. This is what I need. Awesome. Let's go from there. Um, so that's really exciting. 
Um, but we are, like I said, we're about halfway done, essentially, right? We're about halfway done, essentially, which is really exciting. We do also have some other events that are coming up, particularly the Corridor of Glory um, is coming up here on the weekend, which is really exciting. Um, and then we also have, because I don't, it's not showing up here for us yet, but where is, um, is this? Yeah, here we go. So we oh, we have the Corridor of Glory that's coming up right here. Yep, right here. Uh, and with that, we get both the Arrival of Heroes, the Awakening of Heroes, and the Forgotten Palace. So basically what that means is so far we've gotten our first four from the Spiritual Altar, the Brave Conquest, the Awakening, and the Vault in the Sands. Our second four are coming from the Duel of Champions, Mystery of Artifacts, Brave Conquest, and the Tales of the Smith that starts tonight. And then we have our third set of four from Corridor, Arrival, Awakening, Awakening and Forgotten. And then we will have our last sets from Brave Conquest, Tales of the Smith, Duel of the Champions, Lost Legacy. And then we'll have the three extras. So at any point, you could have skipped three events without any issues. But realistically, guys, I mean, this has been a breeze. I mean, it's been really, really easy. Um, I, I have no reason to think that you shouldn't you should be able to get these i mean like it's not it's not difficult i literally did this mystery of artifacts event which is past complete now i mean let's get it does it tell us how long it doesn't unfortunately tell us how long but i literally started this before i recorded the last video i mean i i've been just plowing through it um and i've completed both the brave conquest and the uh mystery of artifacts event i mean within 20 minutes 30 minutes tops um you know and i just did it on background battle you don't have to actually play the game uh it wasn't super difficult um i just stocked up on some energy and said let's go let's get it done it was really simple um and i think that it should be pretty simple for most other people to get it done as well so hopefully you guys are having no issues um definitely let me know down in the comments how many of your gogrons have you completed so far hopefully you've gotten pretty lucky and gotten them all done or you've been playing the game effectively i would say the only way that you really are going to miss out on this event is if you basically don't play the game every day, which is, I think, to be expected. These kinds of events are meant for you to play every day. Um, you know, I think that that's important. I will say that even if you don't play every day, you don't necessarily need to, right? Because there are, there are three events that you can skip. So if we go back over here to the notice... Um, right? There are a couple events you could skip. So for example, um, one of the events that I think is important for you to be playing every day would be Duels of the Champions, right? If you're not playing every day during this, it's going to be difficult for you to be able to get your arena battles in order to get the points that are needed um, if you're not playing every day, right? Um, or if you're only logging in once a day during the four days that it's up, that's only 20 battles that you're going to be able to complete. So assuming you don't win every single one of those battles, it's going to be difficult for you to be able to complete that because you get eight for a win. So if you log in once a day and you're doing your five battles during that one time you're logged in, you know, you're only going to get up to 160 points if you win them all. Um, so it could be difficult, you know, to do some of the the, the Duel of the Champions events. But even if that's the case, if you miss out on both of these events, you'll still have 17 Gogrons available to you, provided you do the rest of these, right? Um, same thing with if you have no gems or summons to summon on any of these summoning banners. Well, there's three summoning banners that are, you know, three summoning events that are coming into the game. Um, and you could skip all of them. You could skip all three of them. And be fine because there's three extra gogrons in this event there's 19 total events 19 gogrons available and you only need four per draga you only need four dragas which means you need four times four is 16 and since there's 19 you could skip three events but again these events are are they're really easy i mean it, it's not a huge investment um you know from my perspective i know that i play the game a lot but I've actually been really sick the last few days, you know, and I haven't been playing as much as I would normally play. And so because of that, I was worried if I could be able to complete the event, but it hasn't been a problem. I mean, it's been real simple. I start this, I walk away, I go relax, I come back a few hours later, sometimes the next day, 
and I've completed whatever event I set out to complete. So it's not super difficult. So hopefully you guys are doing well. Hopefully you're not having any issues. Um, but yeah, I am really excited. You know, like I said, we are uh, roughly halfway there. We have our first Draga copy and we'll scroll down. You can see all three of our Gogrons here. Uh, and like I said, that fourth one will come in about an hour. So I'm really excited about that. Hopefully you guys are in a similar spot or you will be at least soon. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to leave a comment down below with how many of the seven available Gogrons you have at the moment. Or maybe if you watch this video a little later, maybe there'll be eight, nine, 10, 15 Gogrons available. Let me know in the comment section down below. I would appreciate it. I like to keep up with where everyone is at. It's really exciting for me. That's it for me today, guys. Don't forget to hit that sub button. We're making a huge push for 5K subs. Every sub counts, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.